Hi, I'm Mike Murphy, and welcome to The Short, the news roundup from IBM Research. First up, if you want to accelerate discovery, you need to use 100 qubit quantum computers. This year, IBM showed that you can get accurate results from a quantum computer for something that couldn't exactly be simulated by a classical computer. And now we're starting to see more examples of what we call quantum utility. Researchers at the University of Washington, Stony Brook University, IBM, and elsewhere are exploring what's possible beyond classical simulation with systems using over 100 qubits. This new work includes simulating particle spin chains, condensed matter physics, and even uncovering the very nature of matter. You know, the simple stuff. Next, COBOL programmers are getting harder to find, but IBM's code writing AI can help. Roughly 70% of all the transactions in the world are carried out on COBOL powered mainframes, but COBOL developers are becoming more scarce and companies are looking to make their processes more flexible. IBM's new solution, Watson X Code Assistant for IBM Z, is here to help. It lets developers translate COBOL applications into modern, high-quality code like Java, which is perfect for IBM Z in the hybrid cloud. And in case you missed it, IBM's new chip design points to faster, more energy-efficient AI. You know, it's that time of year again when people start thinking about the North Pole. But I'm not talking about the big guy in the red suit and the elves. North Pole is also the name of IBM's prototype AI chip. It's a brain-inspired device that intersperses memory and processing across the chip. Testing it against industry benchmarks is roughly 25 times more energy efficient than popular CPUs and GPUs. It does not, however, jingle all the way. For more on the latest innovations from IBM, make sure you subscribe to our newsletter, Future Forward. Till next time.